Hey everybody, hope everybody's having a good day. This is going to be a TTM Tuesday. Um, I did get a few requests out recently, but literally only like three. So I haven't been getting that many back because I have just been um, just working a bunch of crazy hours and things have just been busy. I haven't had a lot of time to sit down and put the pen to paper and send some requests out. But I do have five that I want to show today. All five are baseball returns. And um, I will show what I have. I wish I could show um, Jim Mudcat Grant. I did send to him about three weeks before he passed away. But unfortunately, I, he, he passed away. I never got my card. So um, didn't get to him in time. I'm, you know, I wonder if his health might have been failing at the end. So it's unfortunate that I um, took too long to send to him. I mean, he's been such a great signer for so long. I wish I would have sent to him a couple of years ago. But... Um, Anyway, we'll get right into these. Uh, the first one that I have is former, uh, I've got former Atlanta Brave Major League cards, and I have one minor league card with the Royals. So if anybody knows who I'm talking about, it's going to be Ed Owine. Got him on that 88 tops base. Got him on the 87. One of my favorite, all two, really two of my all-time favorite sets. I love 88 and 87. Those were childhood uh Favorites of mine, so I still love them today. Got him on the 89 upper deck. And then I got him on this pro cards where he's with the Omaha Royals, AAA uh, affiliate of the Kansas City Royals. Next one I have, um, I believe he lives up in Washington State. This is uh, a cool return for me. I got Jeremy Bonderman. I think I did catch him in AAA when he came through town, but I didn't get my Tacoma Rainiers team set card sign. So I sent that out and was able to get that done. He did two of two, so I was really excited to get that Rainiers card done. I do like trying to get a lot of the minor league card team sets done. And uh, I'm always a little bit scared to mail them out because the minor league team sets, they're not cheap. So uh, it's kind of a bummer if you ever send one off and you lose it and then you have to go try to buy a single. I mean, oftentimes you're paying anywhere from... Really, I've seen people charge up as, as much as like 15 bucks for just some common minor league team set card out there so um yeah so i've had to i've had to do that i don't think i've ever paid that much but i think i've paid like five for some you know random triple a guy that i just need to get the single to keep my set complete so i'm always a little bit leery of mailing those out unless i have a pretty good feeling that it's going to come back so thankfully bonderman came through for me this next one i was really excited to get tim jones uh, I have never sent to him before. I've never got him, so I'm really excited to add him to my collection. Got him on the 89 Fleer. Got him on the 1991 Tops. 1990 Upper Deck. I opened a lot of that when I was a kid. Loved that set. Opened a lot of these. 1990 Don Russ. I remember when I was uh, 10 years old playing Little League after our games. Got a little snack shack set up and... A lot of times, like the parents would, you know, put some money over at the snack shack. They'd be like, hey, everybody can go get, you know, a couple bucks worth of stuff or whatever. And they always had 1990 Donruss packs. So a lot of times I would end up using my money after the game to get a couple packs of Donruss. So I was excited to get that one signed. And then I've got uh, a couple vintage cards done. Larry Brown, former Cleveland Indians. I got him on the 68 tops. And then I had him on this 1972 Oakland A's. Those turned out really nice, signed in blue. And then the last one I got, I was nervous about this one. I sent, he lives up in Montana, and I sent these off. And then when I got my um, Barkowski, Steve Barkowski football return back, it was postmarked from Montana, and I thought that it was this guy. Um, so when I opened it and it wasn't this guy, I was like, man, I don't think I've ever sent anyone else to Montana. I don't believe I sent Barkowski to Montana, but this is the one that I thought it was. I'm glad it came back. This is Jerry Nyman. Got him on that 69 rookie card, uh, with the White Sox. And then I got him on, I bought a whole pack of these because we used to see the, uh, rookie affiliate of the White Sox come through the Pioneer League. So I have like a whole pack of those that I bought down in Arizona and the Pioneer League, basically, like the affiliates are gone. They're all kind of independent now. So we've got a whole stack of Chicago generic cards. So I thought, well, I might have to start trying to pick a few of those off through the mail to get them signed since I bought a whole pack of them. So 
Um, and then the last two that I got, I've just got two of the same card. This is a 2007 Idaho Falls Chuckers team set cards where he was a coach. And uh, I never was able to catch him when they came through town to get those done. So I'm um, happy I got those done for my team set. And uh, that's all I have. So five returns, all baseball. So I did send a few more off. Um, I've got a lot of stuff pulled. I just need to sit down and write some letters. So um, hopefully in the coming weeks, I will have some more to show. But uh, all in all, not bad. Five returns. That is over the past like three to four weeks. So, so it's been a while. So they're not really coming in any too quickly so um that's all i got for now though i'm going to try to get some more sent out so i can uh, have some more to show coming up so um thank you everybody for watching i sure appreciate it we'll catch you guys on the next video